Hi, my name is Coco. I go to NYU, and today is my first day back to school. I still vividly remember getting ready for my first day of freshman year. The makeup skills of a nine-year-old girl paired with the fashion taste of a twelve-year-old boy. I was that nervous and socially awkward Asian girl who wore her lanyard protective student ID everywhere she goes. Maybe because COVID robbed away half of my college career, in a blink of an eye, I am now a senior. No more fighting over shared bathrooms to get ready in the morning. No more Google mapping the building locations. No more Kangkung backpack. No more student ID. But equally as thrilled and excited for her first day of school. Okay, that was a long ass intro. Let's get into the video. <laughs> you know, I genuinely thought that by the time I'm in my last year of college, I can finally stop suffering through morning classes. But um, you gotta do what you gotta do. My day starts at 9 a.m. This class that I'm taking is called Algorithmic Culture Topics in Digital Media. I am a media and communications major, and the question that I get the most throughout college is, "What do you do in your major?" And for the past three years, I've been responding with, "Oh yeah, we're still learning the fundamentals. I'll let you know when I'm further down in my degree." And guess what? It is my final year, and I still have no fucking idea how to answer that question. I mean, the major is broader than the shoulder of an Olympic swimmer. People go into film, PR, marketing, journalism, basically every single career path I've ever considered in my life. I've taken a vast variety of classes, from coding to art history to neuroscience to economics to even songwriting. But now that I'm a senior, I realize that my international student identity will not allow me to be a starving artist. So instead, I am trying to take more practical classes in order to get that spicy work visa in the United States of America. This is the harsh reality that we have to face in our senior year. After my class, I went to grab a quick bite near campus. This place is called Bao Tea House, and the buns were so good. I usually don't like this whole like fusion Asian food idea because I feel like it ruins the Asianness in the food. But um, th this place is great. So if you know me in person, you probably know that I have three major hobbies in life: cooking, making videos, and printing out physical copies of my syllabus so I can highlight the key dates. So that's what I just did. The class that I'm heading to now is called Video Game Economy. Do I play video games? Nope. Do I like economics? Absolutely not. Then why am I taking this class? Well, I'm glad to ask because I have no idea. I think when I pick classes, it's more like an intuitive process. It's just whatever I feel like I will enjoy and or I will learn a lot. So I don't know. I had a gut feeling that I'm gonna enjoy this class. That's why I took it. But you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe by the end of this week, I decided to switch out of the class, or maybe by the end of the class, I realized I want to work in the gaming industry. <gasps> I think that's the beauty of college classes and like the whole flexibility with all your course selections. You might, may, or may not. Immediately after this class, I have another class called the business of producing. This class is probably the closest that I'll get to what I want to do in the future. Essentially, the business side of filmmaking, distribution, and marketing. It is a two-credit class, which means the workload and the class length is relatively lower. This is actually an exceptionally busy day for me because after all my lectures, I still have a club meeting to host at 8 p.m. So I stayed on campus. Went to the dining hall, just like in my freshman year, eating fried chicken in the corner by myself. But right now, I am a lot more comfortable. Okay, guys, this is all we have. We're just gonna start. Eric, please sit down. 
Dictator wow. time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Okay. The club that I have a meeting for is called Asian Culture Union. As you can probably guess through the name, it is an on campus club that hosts events to spread and celebrate Asian culture. This is another holy shit moment for me because joining this club literally feels like yesterday. But all of a sudden, I am the president. Now let's rewind back a little bit because I want to talk about how I've been feeling for the past month leading up to the first day of school. To be completely honest, I have been overwhelmed. The influx of new viewers, a new identity, and new expectations. I started pushing myself to create and to become this punchier version of myself so I can come off as more entertaining and to make videos on trendy topics so I can grow my channel. I was ambitious but greedy. Without me realizing it, I started hating the content that I was making. It felt like a chore, an obligation, or even a burden. So it really took going back to school for me to realize my relationship with YouTube and video creation. Looking back, my first ever video on YouTube was how I got into NYU. My first viral video was everything you need to know about NYU. And my current highest viewed video is day in the life as an NYU student. So see? NYU is an excellent keyword for SEO. It kind of is, but more importantly, it made me realize that those are the contents that I'm actually passionate about, and it really does show. I just have a lot to say about it, but I don't know where to like voice myself. Today is move and day. It's my first final in college. There's so many people around me, and it's just ready to get roasted. I started YouTube because I wanted to record my life moving to a big scary city by myself and to show those with the same dream what it's like and how to get here. I used to be so proud of my channel despite having like 2000 subscribers because I knew that every single one of them subscribed because they found some sort of value through my videos. I kept creating for two years non-stop during my highs and my lows. I never gave up because it never really felt like work. It wasn't about going viral, making money, or becoming a quote-unquote better YouTuber. It was really just about living in the city that I dreamed of, struggling yet growing day by day. It was about being aesthetic yet authentic, and I really do miss that. So here we are, Coco is back. The girl who gets overly excited over the first day of school, the girl who loves talking to the camera while putting on makeup and give people advice on things she's underqualified for. I want my last year of college to be the year that I can be proud of. A year to be myself, to make new friends, to fall in love, to study hard, to make mistakes, to learn, to grow, and most importantly, to record everything. So, here's to the first day of senior year. A whole new beginning. Hi, my name is Coco. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I comprehend what she misinterpreted.